Well, I, I think, first of all, it needs to be said that, that uh, the 27 countries have been extremely patient with the uh, United Kingdom. Uh, after the result uh, of the consultations in Westminster a couple of weeks ago, where we could see that uh, opposition and majority couldn't agree on anything, and that, in fact, the United Kingdom doesn't have a position. So, uh, we've said we're ready to listen to you, and I think this listening mode is positive. Uh, what else can we do? I mean, the, the ball is in the camp of the United Kingdom. They don't know exactly what they want to do. So they're launching ideas out there. And I think it's fair and, and positive that we say we're ready to listen. Uh, it's very late to come with such proposals. One can be in favor of a customs union or against. It would obviously solve quite a few problems, would avoid long queues of trucks uh, and would view uh, on the 1st of April uh, when uh, Brexit uh, happens, it would avoid many problems. But it's up to the United Kingdom to decide. I have a question for you then. You talk about it's very late in the day. I mean, it is incredibly late. It's six weeks to go over a two-year period. Is it too late, do you think? Or do you think the European side will just keep listening as long as the British side keep talking. You know, in, in diplomacy, it's never too late. Uh, so one should continue to discuss. Obviously, it's, uh, uh, we're coming very close to a dire strait. Uh, but uh, uh, when you've been partners uh, for, 20, uh, for 40, more than 40 years, uh, at 28, uh, you try to find the best possible solution. And I think the European Union and the Commission have been very united on the one hand, but have been very forthcoming. And uh, I think we should listen and see if there is a way out that is better than no deal. You sit in a lot of these European-wide meetings with your counterparts from 27 other countries and you've seen deals being struck in the final hours. A lot of British MPs I've talked to in the last few weeks have said, don't worry, the Europeans, those people in Brussels, they'll turn around at the end and say, OK, we'll make a concession. Is this a different set of negotiations to the previous ones that you've experienced, or do you think that is a possibility here? Yeah, that's a very good point. I've been a diplomat myself for 20 years and now a finance minister for five years. I've seen many negotiations, yes, but this one is such a wide one that you cannot strike a deal by, by changing a number, a percentage or adding a sentence. This is so wide that it took many months, in fact two years to negotiate. And there are so many different topics. So uh, that's why uh, we needed something that encompasses the whole relationship. And that's why a last minute agreement cannot fix it all. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.